Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another useless PSP video in 2020. So this time I decided it would be fun to write a script that converts basically any video into something that the PSP can play. Now maybe 10 years ago it would be fairly easy to find uh, stuff like converters that work. But these days, like all the libraries are out of date and stuff like that, so it doesn't work. And as a bonus, this also works on Linux. So I'm not even sure that it works on Windows because I haven't really tested it, but whatever. This is the GitHub repo. I'll link it down in the comments below. And so this is just like a basic usage thingy. I have some presets that you can use. Uh, by default, I kind of maxed them out at like 23 FPS, 30 FPS, since the PSP display only goes up to 30 FPS anyway, so there's no point in using um, higher ones. So, yeah. Um, so I managed to get like some large files working. This one is 1.1 gigabytes. It's the Matrix ASCII movie. And as you can see, the resolution is 480 by 272. And then there's it playing. So the only downside of this converter is it uses NVIDIA encoder. Because for the life of me, I could not get the normal H.264 encoder to work. Only the NVIDIA works on the PSP. Like, it's possible to convert. And it plays in VLC, but it doesn't play on PSP for some reason. So if I go into the script here, you will see inside the... Um, conversion here. It uses H.264 and the Vink encoder instead of just H.264, which didn't work for me for some reason. I'll try and figure out why that is. But anyway, copy this link here, and then just do a git clone. And then for test video that we will convert, I will just use this one here. All right, so boys, here's a demo video or whatever this is. And then this is just like standard 1080p recording. Uh, frame rate is actually 30 frames as well, which is handy, I suppose, but doesn't really matter. This is an example video, I suppose. So it's just like a short 20 second clip or something. So once you got the PSP encoder or converter yoke uh, cloned, go inside there. And you should only really have one script to worry about, so just run that. PSP. You would want to pass in an input file, so just drag it into the terminal like so. And then to output, we'll also put it inside TMP, PSP, so just the output will stick inside here. And now you can choose either like 0, 1, 2, 3, or whatever. For the presets, yeah, so before we actually do this, I'll just show you the help menu. So this is all like the standard stuff. So the 0 would be the default one. So if I were, yeah, so if I put 0 here, that would be the default one, same as doing nothing. Now this one is like rather low quality uh, mic, so we'll put in for the highest quality possible. Well, you can go more than 2K bitrate, I'm pretty sure, but there's really no point since the PSP screen is so small. So I'll just do the super high encoder here, run that. Now since this file is very small, it'll take a little bit to run. Now you'll see it generates two files here as well. So one is the actual video. We can open it here inside VLC. All right, so boys, here's a demo. So it's 
pretty much exactly the same thing, except we go into codec information. It's 480 by 272, 29.97 FPS. So what the PSP is comfortable with. Demo, video. Then last thing here is actually the thumbnail. So this script also generates a thumbnail because the PSP by default doesn't. So it just looks like this. And now what you want to do is just connect your PSP up to the computer. So here's my PSP. I did some epic red trigger mod. Uh, this is basically done by taking these out, sanding them down and then painting them red underneath. So as you can see right now, they're like clear, but then once you start rotating the red, um, I'll do a video later on where I basically uh, I ordered some parts for the PSP, so a new front plate because this is like scratched. Then I ordered some red buttons as well to go with the red theme here. So I'll show you how this is done in that video once they arrive. Should be like next week, hopefully like Monday next week when I get them. That's when I'll do it. But anyway, let's power on this bad boy. And I'll show you the Matrix ASCII movie that I have on here right now. So all your movies will actually be just in video. And as you can see, this is the one that I showed on my uh, GitHub. So there it is. Now if we play it. Very nice. Now this one's aspect ratio is um, a little bit like sideways or stretched I mean. So if I just skip forward. So there's the kind of starting scene here. And it's all like ASCII format which is pretty cool. It's kind of hard to see. Um, I'll try to turn off the lights see if that helps. Uh, not really. Alright, whatever. Yeah, so that's that. Anyway, so once you're here, scroll all the way to settings, uh, USB connection, then plug in your PSP to your PC, like so. Now you should have your PSP pop up here. So mount the volume and then open new tab. And what you want to go is go into videos. So you can see I have the matrix here. What you want to do is copy these. Now when I when this file generates, it will generate the file as exactly the same name, but there is an underscore PSP attached to both the file. So if you want to rename this back to this one, you just rename this, but make sure you rename the thumbnail to exactly the same thing. And once you're done that, just copy it over. Like so, should be very fast since this is only what, uh, three megabytes. So yeah, very quick. And now go back to your PSP. There it is, press circle to go back and then go into videos again. And then there you go, as you can see, we have the thumbnail here as well, and we can play it. As you can see, the video is taking up the whole screen, because uh, I recorded the video in um, basically a different aspect ratio than what the movie is in, so that's why this is taking up the whole screen and looks it looks pretty good. So there we go, that's kind of PSP inception there. Yeah, so that's about it there. That's all I really wanted to show you. That I wasted like a few hours trying to get this useless script working that nobody's ever going to use probably. <laughs> yeah, the hardest bit was actually getting the right command for this. Where is it? 
getting the right command for ffmpeg because like you can find some ffmpeg commands on um, online stuff I'll actually open it up inside Vim here since it'll be easier to see yeah so that's the command here I'll just make this a little bit bigger Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so this is the whole command here. Inputs file name. Then you can select the video bitrate. So on the highest quality ones, there's like two, 2,000 uh, kilobytes. And then this is just saying to resize the video to this, uh, which codec to use, which is the H.264 NVIDIA and then which audio bitrate to use and which is uh, 192 kilobytes for the for this one and then it's running at 48 kilohertz so then the lower ones here will be like the lowest quality will be like 96 kilobytes per second and then this is at uh, 44 hertz uh, resolution or whatever it is then the frame rate here as well I chose kind of these cinematic ones because um, they kind of worked out for the matrix basically my goal for this was to get the matrix on the PSP because that's probably the coolest thing ever you can do with the PSP <laughs> is to watch the matrix on it <laughs> so yeah that's um, that's about it for the video uh, like I said earlier on, I'll be making another PSP video once all the gear arrives, so all the buttons, all the um, the new face pretty much, and the 64 gigabyte memory stick, because at the moment I'm still struggling with the 2 gigabyte one. I don't know why Amazon takes so fucking long to deliver shit, but whatever, what can you do, you know? Alright, so thanks for watching and bye bye.